Victoria has a wealth of special places on land actively managed by traditional owners, the community and Parks Victoria. This network of parks provides a magnificent refuge for unique plants and animals and a place where people can experience nature on walks, camping, with family and friends, experiences that last a lifetime. Our marine parks are no different. The habitats below the surface are less familiar to us, however they are equally important and incredibly diverse. Victoria has a spectacular coastline and diverse marine environment. Australia's southern waters contain around 90% of plants and animals in most groups found nowhere else in the world. Our parks were, were set up to provide a representative example of the marine ecosystems in Victoria. So and that's what we've done all across Victoria. Each type of marine area is found. In total there's 30 marine protected areas ranging in the west from the South Australian border right through to Cape Howe in the east. And the aim was to cover all the types of habitats. So it might be deep rocky reefs at Wilson's Prom, it might be muddy inshore environments behind Phillip Island at Churchill, it might be seagrass meadows in Port Phillip Bay and Swan Bay. So the intent was to give us representations and it's like land national parks. It's like the equivalent of alpine areas or desert areas or rainforest areas. You're trying to make sure that you're protecting and, and managing those areas. Managing marine parks is a bit different than our land-based parks uh, because they're a bit harder to see. You actually have to put your head under the water and as often as I can I get out and do that, go scuba diving with our staff and partner groups to see how good those parks really are. We are just so blessed down here. It is the most amazing place to get your head in under the water and have a look at the amazing diversity that we have and really that's, that's the special message that we want to get out to people is that we have great diversity that we need to look after. People's reactions to, the, to my images of Victoria kept me taking photographs. Especially non-divers had no idea of the marine life in Victoria. Uh, like myself, they only been exposed to tropical documentaries. And so when I would show my images to people I knew, that, that the reaction was universal and consistent. Is that Victoria? <laughs> we have a, a great relationship with the, with the licensed tour operators within this park. There's a number of them operating dolphin swims, dive tours, snorkel tours, kayaking. And they provide feedback about any, any damage or infrastructure problems we have on our managed area. As a tourism operator, we're out in the parks every day, so we can help uh, with assistance and maintenance of those parks simply by being there. We can see what's going on. We can see Northern Pacific sea stars. We can collect them immediately, pull off any under area that's growing where it shouldn't be, and in particular seal entanglements. We can call that through to Melbourne Zoo and they can react and come and assist that seal as quickly as possible. The Parks Victoria have a range of responsibilities in the management of, of the parks from research, monitoring, compliance, education and direct involvement with community. And obviously the community groups are a key player in their particular parts of the world. They might have 15 volunteers really keen to do diving for us, whereas we might only have one ranger in the area. So they're, they're an incredible resource for the park and for our agency and other agencies in managing these special places. People bring their children down to the rock pools to look at the plants and animals, you know. Schools and community groups visit these places on a regular basis to learn about marine environments. I think our community is, is, is strengthened by their existence and by our ability to be involved in, in monitoring and, and learning and teaching people about marine parks. The community highly prizes the sanctuary, it's something that they treasure. It's something they look forward to going down to monitor and enjoy the time down there and snorkelling, even just enjoying having a snorkel with their friends. I think if we don't set aside some of these special areas, we're doing our grandchildren a misjustice. We're not, we're not making sure that our footprints on this earth weren't so hard that we squashed everything around us. And I think we have to treat these places with respect. We have an obligation. Some of the research in marine national parks and marine sanctuaries involves monitoring. Uh, monitoring what's in the parks and how that may or may not change through time. 
it's really important that we understand those changes so we can better manage the parks and perhaps understand what's happen happening in the wider marine environment as well. Our philosophy, healthy parks, healthy people, underpins all our work. We are charged with protecting the Earth's two most important assets, nature and humanity. Healthy Parks, Healthy People provides hope for the future, a way of proactively responding to the challenges of our time, together with our partners and the community.